Yesterday, I got back from my very first trip to America, and honestly, it surprised me a lot. If you're like me, and you're watching this from the UK, then you're probably aware of a lot of our perceptions of the US right now, through the media coverage, the politics, the hot takes on Twitter. But honestly, after actually being there for a period of time, completely unbiased, I really loved it. And you might be thinking that someone's holding me at gunpoint right now to say these things, but I just told you I'm back in the UK. They didn't let me take the Glock through customs. So I thought it'd be a really good idea to sit here and talk about five things that the US actually does better than the UK and five things that it really doesn't. Obviously, the US is a big country. My experience is only from New York, so things might be different in the other areas of the country. But this is from what I saw when I was there. The first thing that America does so much better than the UK is crosswalks. In the UK, we have the green man and the red man. In the US, they have the green hand and the red hand, and then a countdown from 15 down. The amount of times I'm here and I'm crossing the road, and I, I don't know if it's going to turn red as soon as I get on the road, and then I have to sprint across. It's, 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 it's so stressful. Whereas this, it counts down. So you know if you've only got five seconds to cross. You know if you've got 20. It's fine. It's fun. It makes so much less stress for just crossing the street. Especially with the laws in America, including jaywalking, which we don't have in the UK. However, this does bring me to the first thing that was worse about America, and that was the drivers. See, we had these big countdowns from when we could walk, because otherwise we'd be jaywalking, but we'd be allowed to walk, and then cars would just get bored and cross the crossing anyway. Talk about jaywalking, what the fuck about jay driving? If it wasn't for my big, like, solid shoulders, I just stood there in the way. I was like, no, you're not, you're not, I'm crossing right now, bruv. You ain't coming. Like, they just don't care. They'll just go round a red light. They don't, they don't care. They've got places to be. Hey, I'm driving here. The second thing, and this might be quite an obvious one, that is better in the US than the UK, are the portion sizes of food. I was expecting everything to be a lot more expensive, but after the inflation in the UK, things cost about the same after conversions. A burger and a meal was about $19, and two slices of New York pizza were like $7. There was not a single meal when I was in America that I didn't struggle to have the last couple of bites. And I was one of the only people that was there that did finish all of our meals. Whether it was a sandwich, or a burger and fries, or pizza. When I go out in the UK, I'll have a starter, a main, a dessert, and some beer. And I'll still have room within like an hour. I was not hungry once on my entire trip in America. Albeit, I did just have lots of burgers and and fries and pizza but it was it's good i was satisfied after every single meal however speaking of big meals another thing that i hated about america are the toilets I'm, I'm sorry but what the fuck why is the water level so high in the uk you just have that little bit at the u-bend at the bottom and america is all the way up so you go to pee and the whole thing just looks so gross. I, I didn't even want to look when I did a poo because I could just imagine it floating there like a little fish just going around the bowl. There's no need for that much water to be in there. That's what the system's for. Why is the water so... Can someone explain why is the water so high? Why? It's just gross. Luckily, I wasn't there for too long, but can you imagine the splashback? Are Americans just walking around with poo water on their bums? But if they do have poo water on their bums, they don't show it because something that America blows the UK out of the water with, that pun wasn't intended, is the customer service. Now, this is a weird one because I think a big part of this is because of tipping and how tipping is almost mandatory in the US, whereas in the UK, it's almost unheard of. And when I first went over there, I was like, why would I want to tip? Like, I've just paid for a meal, why would I want to tip as well? But when I actually went to places, oh my god, like, the service was so good in the majority of the places, like, better than I've ever had in the UK. Where I was like, oh my god, this is why you tip, because they're so good. Obviously, they're probably so good because they need the tips, but 
they've earned them. Like, even in the UK, I would tip for that service. It's insane. It's... They're so friendly. They're so warm. And the amount of times we were at a menu and we were like, okay, what would you recommend? What was, What's this? What's that? Like, in the UK, it's like... I don't know. Beer. America, like, oh, well, this is good for this reason. That's good for that reason. I loved it so much. I expected everyone to be so miserable over there and everyone was so helpful. Unfortunately, my nose wasn't happy because something that America suffers from, specifically New York, compared to the UK, is, oh my God, does it fucking stink of piss. We went from the airport, onto the train, through the subway, went up the stairs, went to have a look, took a deep breath. Oh, fuck me. It smells awful. I mean, the shower in a hotel was shit, so after a couple of days, I also smell awful. But, oh my god, the subway, the streets, it just smelled horrendous. You got used to it quite quick, but oh my goodness. But then, it's weird because you can go in a building, you can be on a street smelling a piss, and then you go in a building with the doors open, and it's just... <sighs> they need street air freshness, that's all it is. Maybe fairies. But about what I just said about all the streets being in straight lines, that's something I really loved about New York specifically. So I was in Times Square, and I also went to Long Island for a bit, and most of the roads there all went in the same direction. Cars were all one way, they kind of go around in the square pattern, uh, around blocks. It also made it so much easier to navigate on foot. The streets go one way, and the avenues go the other way. I still got lost very very lost i've been to london a few times and oh my god is that confusing holy shit i got off a train once and i had to get to another train station which was five minutes that way and it looked like i could just go right so i went right because left was so busy it took me 20 minutes because it just kind of curved it went inside out went upside down i didn't know where i was i almost missed my train new york it's a grid the only reason i got lost in new york it's because it was dark and we went down into the subway our train was no longer running so we went up a different staircase thinking it was the same and we went up avenues instead of streets but as soon as we realized it was like oh we go this way because the avenues go one two three four five and the streets go one two three four five so you can never really be that lost on long island it was more named streets like we have in the uk but in such a busy area like Times Square, it just made everything so much simpler. But with all the roads being so straight and such tall buildings, it does unfortunately mean that the air is very, very thick and humid. We had to go 20 blocks from the hotel to the venue for the party when we were there. And it's a fine walk. It was half an hour walk. That's, that's nothing for us in the UK. I mean, I've done multiple videos walking for like 10 hours a day. But oh my goodness, I got there and I was dripping with sweat. I was getting hugs and then people were like... Oh, that's because the air is just so thick and humid. And again, you get used to it. But when I landed in the UK, I was like, oh my goodness, I can, I can walk around. <laughs> and I thought I'd settle a debate that I've seen going on over the last like month or so with English people saying how hot they are. And Americans being like, oh, that's nothing compared to here in the US. UK people being like, yeah, but you got AC, it's not fair. The temperature was the same in the UK and the US, roughly, after I converted it. However, I sweat a lot more in the US when I'm outside because it's just thick. It's like you're, you're swimming through the streets. However, you can be in a building in New York for a minute and you feel so good. M&M World, the Lego store, all of it. It was just, oh, it, it was like you just felt so much better. And in the UK, you go into a building and it just gets so much hotter. We need AC. Why do we not have AC? The UK just needs AC. It, it's just, it should be a human right. I'm sorry, it should be a human right. Because I like hot climates, I actually did like this kind of heat and the humidity. But it just kind of sucks that if you put on an outfit and then you want to go somewhere, you're going to smell like shit by the time you get there. 
I've touched on this a little bit already, but one of my favorite things about America is how surprisingly friendly I found almost everyone to be and how non-judgmental it was. In the UK, at least the areas I've been to, people are always like focused on other people and being like, oh, what they're doing. Oh, what's this guy doing? Oh, he's driving. Oh, he's mowing the fucking lawn. Fuck off, man. This is taking the piss. And then in the US, everyone, and it's kind of negative and positive, but everyone's so much more focused on themselves that they just don't give a shit. If you looked out a camera and vlogged somewhere around where I live, people are going to be staring at you like you've just landed from Mars. In the US, you're never more than 10 meters away from someone recording. And this, is, this isn't just in Times Square, this was on Long Island as well. It just felt so much more comfortable to just pull your phone out and just chat and just have a laugh because it really felt like no one cared over there. You didn't get judged half as much. Whereas in the UK, everyone is always talking about other people. This could just be my experience, but I felt just so much more comfortable in the US, which is weird because I expected to be terrified of pickpockets and, and guns, but I just felt more comfortable. And last, but definitely not least, the US is great. I've made that pretty obvious how much I like the US and New York specifically after my short time there. But the UK has something that the US really needs. Uh, it just means that you know the US can't be up there without this one thing that the UK has, and that... That is me. The US, the US needs me. America needs me. You, you, you need me. I need the pizza. I need those foods. I, I need waffles. I, I need milkshakes. I like, I miss the smell of piss.